Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So you may remember in 2021, I posted a video about a drug called semiglutide, which has now been approved by the FDA as a weight loss drug. A new drug has come onto the scene, which appears to be exceeding the results of the FDA approved semiglutide. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new diet drug has got to offer. This is a review of a study that was penned by Peter Doctorill covering an experimental drug which is being clinically investigated for its effects on body weight in obese and overweight people. To date, it has delivered record-breaking weight loss for the participants of the trial, results that are on a par with surgical options. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. a peptide, a compound developed by an American pharmaceutical company called Ellie Lilly, is a once a week injection that promotes weight loss by mimicking the effects of natural hormones called incretins. These hormones lower blood sugar after we eat, in addition to regulating metabolic processes related to digestion. In the case of terzapeptide, the drug is a synthetic combination of two particular incretins. They are GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, and GIP, which is glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. GLP-1 is the basis of an anti-diabetes medication, semiglutide, which was approved by the FDA as a weight loss drug in 2021 representing the first time that the FDA has endorsed a new treatment for weight loss in several years. The FDA approval was granted on the back of the results described as a game changer for weight loss. You may remember I posted a video on the study in July 2021, but it looks like terzapeptide's formulation thanks to the addition of GIP alongside GLP-1, may well change the game again. In phase three results from ongoing clinical trials, researchers enrolled 2,539 participants who were either overweight or obese and who had one weight-related comorbidity, but without type 2 diabetes. The participants received terzapeptide or a placebo for 72 weeks, along with support to follow a reduced calorie diet and increase their levels of physical activity. Now, I have to say, surely a reduced calorie diet and extra exercise over 72 weeks, now that's a year and a half, on its own would have had some kind of positive effect. And in my humble opinion, any weight loss cannot be contributed solely to the drug. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Terzapeptide was administered at a dose of either 5, 10 or 15 milligrams in a weekly injection. All three groups saw significant levels of weight loss over the course of the study. So let's take a look at the results. The highest dose group, which was 50 milligrams per week, saw an average weight loss of 22.5% of their body weight. That's 24 kilograms or 52 pounds. The 10 milligram a week dosage group achieved 21.4% weight loss, and that's 22 kilograms or 49 pounds. And the five milligram group saw a 16% body weight reduction, that's 16 kilograms or 35 pounds. By comparison, the placebo group only lost 2.4% of their body weight, that's two kilograms or five pounds. And I have to say that after 1.5 years of a reduced calorie diet and extra exercise and no weight loss drug, I would expect them to have lost a lot more than five pounds. Previously, the semaglutide weight loss trial participants averaged roughly a 17% weight loss. Clinical research physician Jeffrey Emick, MD, the vice president of product development at Lilly and Company said, terzapeptide is the first investigational medicine to deliver more than 20% weight loss on average in a phase three study. He added that although the results have not yet been peer reviewed, they will be submitted for consideration 
in the near future. The study is ongoing and the results are expected to be announced in 2023. However, terzapeptide does not agree with everyone who takes it. While the average weight loss results are about on par with the weight loss patients might expect from bariatric surgery, some participants have experienced adverse effects. Depending on the dose, one third of the group experienced nausea, while diarrhea was also relatively common for between 19 and 23% of the participants. Some people also experienced vomiting and constipation, although it's worth noting only a small percentage of the participants actually left the study because of these side effects. Yet another potential barrier is the issue of price, which is assuming that future research results convince the FDA to approve the drug for weight loss patients. The drug has already been submitted for review as a diabetes treatment. It's worth noting that semaglutide, sold as a weight loss drug under the brand name Wegovy by Danish pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk, sells for over $1,300 US per month. If terzapeptide is approved and follows a similar pricing strategy, it could be another case of a potentially brilliant life-saving medication that many people sadly won't be able to buy and is unlikely to be covered by anyone's health insurance. Neuroscience and obesity researcher Stefan Guyanet, PhD, said, The drugs themselves appear to be great, but Wegovy is expensive, and others probably will be too. This is especially true in the US, where Wegovy costs about four times more than in other countries. So the main question becomes one of access. Scott Carhan, the director of the National Center for Weight and Wellness in Washington, D.C., said this is extremely exciting, albeit preliminary data showing bariatric surgery level weight loss from a medication, one that likely affords numerous other metabolic benefits. Continued development of terzapeptide and similar agents could portend a sea change in obesity treatment, similar to how cholesterol and heart disease management was transformed by the advent of statin medications and how HIV management was transformed by antiretroviral medications. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I've got a bit of a problem with these kind of drugs and I'd like to know what you think about it too. I think it's all about the money. We've got processed food companies producing toxic products full of sugar, full of high fructose corn syrup, making people fat, obese, and morbidly obese, and then pharmaceutical companies coming along with the solution. It's a vicious circle, uh, and there's not many people who are gonna be able to come in and break that circle up. Even politicians, somewhere in that circle, are being paid by either big food or big pharma to look the other way or to keep their mouth shut. I think that drugs like this are a band-aid for a wound that could be easily cured through whole food diets and moderate daily exercise. Uh, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below about these kind of diet drugs. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.